Alright guys, let's see what this Okay, it should be recording. Uh six ten. We got one good one here in the trap. It's a beautiful morning this morning, part of a moon up there. I don't think this was the big boar I was looking for. But it is a big boar though. And there was another one. He was standing way down. Oh, look at there. He's almost to the top right there. Now, this ain't that big boy that we've seen walk across here the other morning. This is the first one I've caught. Or that came in the trap in four days, five days, something like that. It's been a while. Sorry about the light there. But, uh, no, I had this pushed way up for my on it <laughs> so I could get my wooden hook my trailer I forgot about that okay there we go all right big boy you ready to get out of there huh you ready to go for a ride you ready to go for a ride huh you ain't a super monster, but what are you like 150 pounds maybe? Probably 150 pounds. I'm blocking your flight, ain't I? Yeah. Probably like 150 pounds. You wanna go for a ride this morning? I'll help you get out of there. You gonna cooperate with me? You gonna cooperate? He said, I don't know if I'm gonna cooperate or not. Yeah, you don't know if you're going to cooperate there. It's crazy how calm they can act and boy they can be woo-wee crazy. Yeah, he's getting a little irritated. He's snapping them old teeth a little bit. Grinding them teeth. And every time I hear that, I think about those Bible verses. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Whew. Well, you think about that being out in the woods at night with them. Hear them old teeth. Ah, whew. Boy, that way they can grind them and just send shivers up your back, you know? <laughs> okay. Hope y'all having a great week. You haven't really put up much content lately we've been busy uh, pray for one of our friends family I'll just say his his first name is Marty he passed away a couple days ago he was in my class in school and uh, man just a good guy I was, Boy, it just starts hitting home, you know, when guys that are your age or younger. We had another friend, uh, Jason, that passed away here a while back. I guess it's been a, several months now. But, uh, you know, you don't really think about much till somebody like that, that close to you, something happens. I'm going it. All right. I did clean out my pickup a little bit. Meanwhile, pray for their families. It's, ah, it's just so hard, you know, losing people like that. Okay, big boy. Look you there. Hey, right there, there's some movement. Jump out of there, buddy. Come on. Come on, big boy. He's a pretty nice old piggy. Come on, son. Go to the gate. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Get him more CP. Uh... Come on, son. Get in there. Come on, big boy. Hip, 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 hip. 
People ask me why I make certain noises. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to make a noise to get him to move. You know what I'm saying? There he goes. He found it now. He found it now. Alrighty, thank you, Lord. That went pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. All right, we'll get this thing baited out and get to work. I got a wife called me a while ago. She had found a snake. I, I might try to put that in this video too. <laughs> but she had found a snake in her flower garden. She goes out at night when it's cool and waters her flowers and does some things. She does during the day too, but it's just so hot she can't really do all the shit she wants. But uh, she was screaming like there was a 20 foot rattlesnake out there. Now I get out there and it's a little old bull snake. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Looks like a little, there's people call them, we just call them bull snakes. I'm sure there's some technical name for them, but uh, rat snakes or whatever, I don't know. But them big ones, now them big, what we call bull snakes, they can uh, they make you hurt yourself with the, <laughs> they can sound like a rattlesnake. They may, and if, especially if they can get their tail up against something, they'll flutter it like that. And uh, man, and they'll growl at you. They'll, man, they can make all kinds of noises. You know what, I, I'll, I'm gonna try to put that corn right down the middle. Uh, best I can. Let me just raise this door up. Man, it's a beautiful morning this morning. There's a little bit of a cloud coming straight north of us that uh, I've seen a little bit of lightning. But it's just a little old bitty cloud. But it could turn into some good rain. We need the rain, but this is all plowed fields, so I hope it don't disturb me getting in here. I'm gonna bait this pretty heavy. Cause like I said, I hadn't had anything but some raccoons and deer. Really this past week I've been here. So I don't know what's really going on. I know there's still a lot of pigs in here. I know at least like 15 or 20 that I've seen the other day. I just seen a big boar driving in here, out there by itself. That's kind of what I was talking about there. They have big boars, they hang out by themselves a lot. And then when they, they'll go out hunting for girlfriends. Kind of like dragon mane, you know? <laughs> Anyway, we'll get this here baited up and reset and get to work. Get to work. You gotta get to work. Pay them taxes, you know. So our government can do such a good job with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know everybody's got yeah, mixed feelings about all that right now, but all I can say, guys, is boat. Boat however you want, but boat might be our last chance. You never know. Hopefully, that's a wrong statement, but anyway. Okay, got that reset. Just kind of hazy this morning. The sun's fixing to come up over there. I just love it in the mornings like this. Some mornings I dread getting up, but once I get up, I'm so glad I did. We gotta bait these out and on the way back. If I got time, I'm gonna 
I gotta be checking on that silage up there. Make sure the hogs don't get into it. Uh, it's for this same family of farmers right here. And he's been so good to me and let me trap on him here the last few years. And we've caught, like I said, down in this area, around his house, that silage, his hay pit. It, he had a feed lot up there where they feed out uh, wheat pasture steers and stuff. And uh, I think we've well over 500. Like I said, this will make 67, I think, off of this spot this time. Uh, and I've caught an enormous amount of hogs off of here before. Uh, it's just crazy where they all keep coming from. But uh, if, uh, if it's a good spot, it'll be a good spot from now on because pigs, they know what they like, you know? You know why they like it? Where's the hole at here for my thingy? It's right there, pretty sure. This thing here knotted up or something? No. What am I hitting on? Man, let's go get my flashlight. Is that no? Okay, there it is, maybe. It's still something don't feel right here. Okay, there we go. Now, some of this got uh, halfway do in the dark. <laughs> uh, you know. Just do what you can sometimes. All right, guys, that looks pretty level. Well, actually, no, it don't look very well. I gotta pull it down over here just a little bit. But it's better if this front end is down just a touch more than the back end. Uh, man, I went through that deal where I lost some pigs out of here. When that thing would drop, I just need to oil my my winch and I didn't know it when it would drop it would drop like the back first and it would just just a milliseconds stay up on this end and them darn pigs would run out it is crazy and I had this darn trap like a darn uh, 45 minutes away Let's see if we can't get some of these guys to draw it in here I'm just going to go ahead and put some corn out there like that. There we go. Alright, now let's back over here. We'll bait out this other trap. And we'll get out of here. But that's a pretty nice little piggy there. I, I don't have any of my other traps set right now. Like I say, it's just been so much going on. And it's so hot. It's been like in the hundreds. Uh... And uh, I got to get up so early to come check them. And by the time I get up and around, it's already, even like this morning, it's hot. Look at the temperature here. Oop, what's that doing? 79, so it's almost 80 degrees right now, and it's just 6.30 in the morning, 6.24 so you can see what I mean it's it's already hot they can start stressing on you even right now you get out here messing with them you just gotta be careful you'll end up killing them I could come up with this thing some more I think uh, best of nothing hadn't been anything coming in here let's raise it up just a little bit seems a little bit low to me it's just one turn one crank but I think it worked okay Alrighty. now this one there's been one deer coming in here every night 
He stays in here about all night. He was in here when I caught this pig right over here. And you can see, there's the trap right there. They're right there. I mean, how far apart is that? 30 yards, maybe, maybe 30 yards. I mean, you can make a bow shot that far, easy, you know? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's just crazy. <laughs> you know, I think used to, when the pigs started start coming in here, they would run off all your deer. I think they've all been around each other so much now, they don't even, they don't even hardly bother each other. Um, I'm not saying that they don't bother each other at all, of course. Yeah. Maybe that work. Yeah, I kept seeing this in the trap last night. There's a turkey feather. I guess turkey's been in here too. For some reason my camera didn't pick one up. There's a turkey feather. There's a feather for your cap right there. Alright guys. Let's get out of here. Like I said, I hope y'all have a great week. Uh, it's been kind of crazy for us. Gotta turn on my alarm going off. 6.30. Alrighty. Anyway, whew, I'm sweating. Already this morning. Take a turkey feather to one of my grandkids. They like that. Isn't that crazy? kids would rather have my old turkey feather or a cardboard box to play in and uh, we're worried about getting them all these fancy dancy electronics and phones and all that and it's really probably doing them a lot more harm than good you know I, don't, I, don't, I think about myself growing up we didn't even have a phone we didn't even have a phone at home for a long time, a wall phone. And uh, I can remember when we got that, that was just amazing. You had them old, what's it called, party lines. If you picked it up, your neighbor was on the phone. You all hear each other talking. Oh, I'm sorry, hang it up. It, it's crazy. And now, oh my gosh, we can't leave the house without our phone. And <laughs> Which is a good thing in, in so many ways. But we used to go to the creek and we may spend a couple days down there. And uh, now we better be where we told them we was gonna be. Cause my dad showed up and he wasn't there. He was off doing something else. Woo -wee. So, and there's usually a group of us and us boys usually had a couple little pickups, you know, or something or motorcycles or something like that. But, I don't know, you think about it. nowadays, they cannot leave the house out your phone. And I can't either. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Appreciate you guys. Hey, hope y'all have a great week. And uh, like I said, go vote. However you want to vote, vote. And uh, we'll get this old pig to the house. I'll get I'll get to work. Maybe there's seven, it's uh, 629. I should have plenty of time. I might have time to even go dump this old boy off. It's a little water in the pen. Which I watered them real heavy yesterday evening. So they should be good. I've only got... I'm going to lie to you now, I think. 8 or 13, something like that. I can't remember how many's in there. I'd have to look at my book and see. But uh, anyway, y'all have a great weekend. Maybe we'll get back into the pigs here shortly. Appreciate you guys watching, support, and all the kind words and encouragement. Y'all have a good one. Vicious. He's longer than you think. Yeah, there's a big boy standing right out there. Out there by himself. Like we were just talking about. He's probably 200 yards, maybe. 
Yep, yeah, the other day this field was still in uh, wheat straw. Yeah, there he is right there. Okay, guys, I gotta get on that road. I'm just checking, see what's going on here. Cause right, right there, you can see that white. Oops. Let's see if I can show you there. Anyway, there you go. See all that white uh, stuff right there? That silage in a big sock type deal. You can see it from right there. Big hogs are gonna get in it. I gotta get some trapped over here.